Sorry, my few, our viewers, internet issues we are having at the moment. We have reconnected back once again. Thank you all for joining us and for being patient with us. I pray to God Almighty that as we have come together tonight, God will be with each and every one of us. I want you all to join with me tonight. This is our first epic episode of To Test Your Mind. To Test Your Mind. We'll be talking to us about how we can reset our minds how we can change our mindset regarding our life, how we can look at ways of improving our life. This program is the first day. I just want to say, 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 I just Lori or long, Lori or long, Lori or long. She actually is your long. That is the key. She has a year washing. She actually is your long. That is in two five year wa. She actually is your long. That is the year you are father. You told it about it, but don't share with me. You go back by you or for me while you just play at his soil with him. This program is to help us reset our mind back to bring us back to our reality to make us understand that we st there's still hope for each and every one of us. This episode of Reset Your Mind, this program is starting today, from today, under Power of Prayer Outreach Ministry by with Prophet Sarah Bobade. I pray that this being, today being the fourth day, we are going to gain a lot from each other, I'll be inter talking to us on how we can reset our minds, how we can change our minds, how we can help ourselves in order for us to live a fulfilling life that is required of us, that God wants us to live. And where I'll be taking our topic of tonight from will be from the book of Joshua, book of Joshua 1 to 8. And the topic of tonight is that be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. We are going to use this word of be strong and courageous to help each and every one of us, to encourage us of how we can live a life that is fulfilling, a life of a successful life, so that we can be able to fulfill our purpose on heart. When I'm talking about be strong and be courageous, what do I mean by that? This is a topic, this is a word that was spoken to Joshua when God Joshua, when God called Joshua to lead the Israelites after Moses. And God called him and told him in Joshua 1, verse 8, verse 6, says that be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestor to give them. Sometimes when we have an assignment to do, if we about if you are planning to do something good, sometimes the courage for us to do it might not be there. We might not be strong enough to carry out the assignment. We might not be strong enough to be to do what God has asked us to do. This word of be strong and courageous is a word of encouragement from God to Joshua. So I am using this word tonight to speak to each and every one of us on this platform. Whoever is watching me, wherever you are, that you may be watching me, whether you are in America, you are in Nigeria, you are in Uganda, you are in Australia, you are in, uh, you are in, in Tunisia, Hong Kong, wherever you may be all over the world. I have come tonight to give us word of encouragement. Reset your mind. How we can reset our mind for us to achieve our purpose on us. How we can reset our mind for us to be able to do what we wish to do. Sometimes we have our heart desires. Sometimes we have things that we want to achieve in life. But because sometimes it can be very difficult for us if we are not strong enough, if we are not courageous, fears can torment us. Many of us, we have allowed fears to torment us. We have allowed fear to stop us from achieving what we want to achieve in life. And if we want to be successful in this life, we have to be very strong and courageous. We have to be bold. We have to be able to face, face challenges. We have to be able to to, to change things around. We have to change our mindset. Sometimes the way we think sometimes can reflect our ways, how, how, we, how we make things in life. I have come tonight to give us this courage, to encourage us not to be scared, not to worry. 
whatever unko unti alema la koja ishoro ki ishoro ti alema la koja i want us to be strong and courageous mo fe ki ani gbagbo ninu ninu ara wa a lot of us we don't have faith in ourselves and if we don't have faith in ourselves it can be very very difficult for us to achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve in life it can be difficult for us to take a step further it can be difficult for us to move from our comfort zone a lot of us we have found ourselves in our comfort zone for many years simply because why we are comfortable why god has more for us why god has planned for us he created us he sent us on heart for a purpose what is that purpose to come and accomplish his will on heart and a lot of us we have this z in us we have the talent we have the knowledge we have the wisdom we have the skills we have the ability experience for us to achieve this purpose but because of that courage that is not there because of that that boldness that is not there because of our faith is not strong enough it sometimes can make it difficult for us therefore tonight my fellow has on facebook i am encouraging you tonight be strong and be courageous be strong in the lord be strong in yourself have faith in yourself don't look down on yourself don't allow these challenges of this world to bring you down you are a you are you are made in the image of god god love you god wants you to be somebody on heart God has created each and every one of us for a purpose and what is that purpose for us to become what he wants us to become and have he has a plan for us and what is that plan for us to for us for us to walk according to his will to do what he has assigned us to do we all have an assignment to carry out on this world any assignment ta ma se ni aye ani ohun orisirisi ko ti olorun fe je ka se ni le aye gbogbo ti olorun fe je ka ha shift ni le aye ani lori sirisi but a lot of us because i we don't have the boldness that boldness in us is not enough we don't have the faith we are scared ati je ki e beru aye ko da ko ko stop gbogun ta ma gba ko gba ko gba olorun ni owo wa ni asale se mo gba ni adura ta ba ri ohun ko ohun to stop wa that is step further that is go further in our life to do what we want to do as we want to do it god will take it away from us i want you to us i want us to be strong in our faith i want us to be courageous do not allow anything to discourage you from achieving your achieving your goal in this life e ma je ki ohun ki nkan to iberu esun gba mi a fi iberu si wa lokan when you want to do something esun your mind will be saying oh she mo le se kini sha so possible sha even eyan le fi o le lo fi lo yan nisin ko ni amo ma fe se nkan bayi ore ele ti ri pe nkan to fe se yen nkan to dani o le wo pe to ba se kini o ma you are you are going to be better than him or her he will say you know i don't think this is the right thing for you to do i'm encouraging us tonight don't allow fear don't allow anyone to discourage you whatever it is that you want to achieve in life go ahead go ahead and do it but remember always remember to put it first before god always ask for god guidance always ask for the holy spirit to direct you before you take any step further in whatever it is that you want to achieve in life ask the holy spirit for direction pray to god to guide you don't be don't ask man don't ask friends friends can discourage you friends can mislead you but if you ask god god will never mislead you god will never discourage you tonight i have come to give us this word of encouragement be strong and courageous be strong in your faith be strong in yourself believe in yourself know that whatever it is that you are planning to do that is your heart desire god is with you and he will always help you throughout your journey to the end of your life i pray that god almighty as he was with joshua from the beginning of his ministry to the end god will also be with each and every one of us in jesus mighty name i pray amen 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 in jesus name be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land i swore to their ancestors to give them that is a word of encouragement once again from god i want you to believe i want everyone who is living listening to me right now i don't know where you are all our fellow has on facebook all our viewers on facebook i want you to believe in yourself tonight i want you to have the courage that whatever it is that you want to do in life you want to achieve in life you can do it do not be afraid do not be dismayed don't allow satan to take your to take things to take your happiness away from you don't allow allow the evil ones to take your happiness away from you don't allow the things of this world to take your happiness away from you focus 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 on what your wish is on on heart 
focus focus the most important thing is to focus if you can focus on your on your achievement on your plan you are bound to be successful don't allow distraction another thing that can distract us distract us is distraction distraction when we listen to what people say when you are not when you listen if i do this timba shele kill on when your muscle timba she ton kill on when your muscle ah timba gbe pe say kill on when your muscle for sure if to ba gbe de se yen to gbe ninu olorun to gbe pelu olorun o ti jiro ki olorun ko wa pelu e bo gbaladura ni asale bo gbo nko nta ba fe da wole lati se to je pe aro ipe ko se se a emi igboya ta ma fi se olorun a yan dare fun wa bo de gba ni adura olorun a ba wa re di opin now my fellow brethren, how can you be strong and be courageous? First of all, you have to abide in God. You have to obey God. You have to walk according to the will of God and his commandment. Because if you don't walk according to the will of God and his commandment, whatever you might be planning to do might not go as successful as you want it. But with God, everything is possible. There's nothing impossible with God. I don't think I can do and I can achieve anything anymore in life. No, 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 no. Moti badra, 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 adra mi uba. Moti, moti shori shiri shi. Moti binyo ju, binyo ju. I binyo ju mi las asolo jasi. Ma je ki binyo ju to uba. Ma je ko swe. Continue with whatever it is you are doing. Continue with it. Don't be discouraged. Don't allow anyone to discourage you. Continue with what you are doing and be ready to leave your comfort zone. Comfort zone. Some of us, when we are in our comfort zone, we are tight in that comfort zone. We don't want to move away from our comfort zone and move forward. We think wherever where we are is comfortable for us. That is not where God wants you to be. If you are not a man, you because he told Joshua, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. The most important thing, is, like I said before, according to the will and the commandment of God. If you want to be successful in life, we must follow the will and the commandment of God. Because God is the only one that can take us to where we are going. God is the only one that can lead us. God is the only one that can put us right. God is the only one that can give, show us the right path to take. I pray to that God Almighty will lead us to the right path. We will not any shares again. Ani shi esegbe, ni oru kwa jesu ni agbare je jesu, mo gbala dura ni ashale, mo gbe ni ton gbe ni abe o mwumi ni ashale, mo gba ni adura, ikpe gbo gbo, ikpe se ti ama gbe ni le aye, ikpe se to ma ba olon ni nuni, to ma ba olon ni ni, to ma jek according to the will and the commandment of God, ani shi esegbe, e ni to ma mu ori kwa kon shi esegbe, olon ni jek e pa di won, e ni kwa jek ni to ma mu yi shi esegbe, e ni shi esegbe, po kon ti e ban ta wole, lo ma ma nyoni si dele, po kon ti e ban ta wole, lo ma ma nyoni si dele, my word of encouragement to each and every one of us tonight. Let us be courageous. Let us be strong. Ejeka wa courageous. Ejeka wa strong in our faith. Be strong in your faith and be courageous. Believe in yourself. Whatever you think you cannot do, believe you can do it. No matter how little it is, just have that faith. Have the boldness you can do it and pursue it. Whether it is your career that you want to pursue, pursue it. Whether it is it, it, it may, maybe it's your ministry that you want to pursue, pursue the ministry. Go ahead. Go at whatever God has laid in your heart to do for Him in His kingdom. Follow it and do it. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Don't let out fear to take your joy away from you, because this is what Satan does, and it has affect, affected many people, especially in the life that we are now. If you look at how the world is now, so many things is going on. A lot of people are depressed. A lot of people anxiety. Oti A lot of people is stress. We have a lot of things that is going on around us that can bring us down, that can make us not wanting to serve God or not wanting to go ahead and achieve what God has planned for us. But we must not allow that. 
We must not allow stress to put us down. We must not allow depression to put us down. We must not allow anything, whatever it is that is like a challenge in our life, whatever it is that is like an obstacle in our life, whatever it is that we might be facing that can affect our achievements and our success in life, let's try as much as possible. Let's not allow it to affect us. Let us pray. Keep praying to God. Keep asking God for guidance, for direction, for protection. And I'm sure God Almighty will guide us, will guide you. God Almighty will protect you. God Almighty will see you through. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. In that book of Joshua 1, 8, there's four statements that God, that God told Joshua. Four words of encouragement that God gave Joshua. One is to be strong and courageous, which I've already mentioned. That is our topic of tonight. Be strong and courageous. That is our word of encouragement for tonight. Be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not, do not be scared. Do not be dismayed. Do not be frightened. Don't let the challenges of this world frighten you. Don't let the challenges of this world take your joy away from you, like I've already said. Don't let the challenges of this world take your happiness away. Don't let the challenges of this world stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Name. And the second one is be careful to obey the Bible. When you if you if you want to be successful in life, for you to be strong and to be courageous, you must know your Bible very well. You must know the word of God very well. You must not let the word of God depart from you. You must meditate on it day and night. This is exactly what God told Joshua. Meditate on my word day and night. That is the root to our success in life. Many of us as Christians, we don't have time to read the Bible and we want to be successful in life. We don't have time to serve God and we want to be successful in life. We don't have time to, to speak to God directly, to have close relationship with God and we want to be successful in life. For us to be successful in life, for us to be courageous and strong in life, we need the word of God. We need the harmon of God. We need to carry it, to put on the whole armor of God, which is our weapon for us to be able to face challenges of this world, for us to be able to fight any, any, any problems, any issues that we will be going to is through the word of God. And the third one is, do not turn from the Bible to the left or to the right. Do not turn away from the Bible. Don't turn away from the Bible. Don't leave the Bible and do and be doing something else. If there's anything you want to do in this life, for you to have that courage, for you to be courageous, take your Bible and read it. And ask God to direct you to guide you. The word of God is the only power that we need in this life. You don't need any anything else. You don't need anyone to tell you how to live your life. You don't need anyone to tell you how to take a step. But if you if you believe in the word of God and you read the word daily, God will show you. God will give you a revelation. God will speak to you in so many in, in your vision, in your dreams, in your sleep, even when you are walking on the street. God will sh show you the way and the right way as to how to go about it. Even if you have, if you think, if you are the kind of person that like that thinks too much about the about what oh what how am I going to make it? I have been in this country like many of us now. We have been in the United Kingdom for 20, 30 years. And we might be, well, we haven't achieved what we wanted to achieve. But forgetting that God is the only one that can help us. You might find somebody that has been in this country 10 years and, and God, and within 10 years, he has achieved everything. And you that you have been here 20, 30 years, you haven't achieved anything. It's not that God is not, is not, is not, is not with you. God is still with you, but it's just that for everyone, we all have our own time. In the book of Escalation, it says, there's a time for everything. There's a season. There's a time to cry. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to, 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 have, to, to have babies. There's a time to do. There's a time to build. There's time to plant. So therefore, my fellow brethren, my fellow house in Christ, my friends, my families on Facebook, I am giving you this word of encouragement. Your time is coming. Don't be discouraged. Be strong and be courageous. God will see you through. That is the third one. Do not turn from the Bible to the left or the right. Do not let the book of the law depart from your mouth. Don't allow the book of God to depart from your mouth. Know the law of God. Know the commandment of God of how to live your life. We have the Ten Commandments. The reason why many of us, we find it so difficult to move forward in life. The reason why we find it so difficult to achieve what we want to achieve or to, to live our comfort zone is because we are so, we are the fear, the fear of how am I going to do it? Can I make it? Can I make it? I don't think I can make it. Oh, I don't have money to do this. I don't have money to do that. Oh, I haven't got this. I haven't got that. So therefore, I cannot do anything. I can't do anything else. If you make a move, God will make the move with you. 
Don't let that discourage you. Don't let the book of the, the law depart from you. If you want to do anything that you are unsure about, take your Bible, read your Bible, speak to God, ask God, what should I do? What steps should I take? How should I go about this? What do I need? Even if you don't have money, speak to God. God will, might show you somebody that you can go to that will assist you in your dream. Even if you want to try and do something that you don't have money, God can reveal someone to you in your dream and say, go to this person. The person will help you. He will support you. He will assist you with whatever you are doing. But if you don't ask, in the Bible it says, ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. So for us to be strong in this life, for us to be courageous, we must knock, we must ask, we must seek from God. And that courage, that boldness will come into us. That strength, that power to fulfill our purpose on earth, God will give it unto us. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I'm in Jesus' name. And the fifth part is meditate on the word of God day and night. I said, for us to be courageous, and be strong in the Lord, we must meditate in the word of God. This is the only way for us to achieve and to be successful in life. If you have been thinking that you cannot make it in life, I'm encouraging you tonight, don't look down on yourself. There is still hope. God is our hope of glory. He is our provider. He is our sustainer. He is our helper. He is our supporter. I pray that God will be with each and every one of us. I don't want us to, I don't want to take too much of our time tonight. It's just a word of encouragement. I'm not, I'm not on this platform to preach. I'm not on this platform to, to speak, to say too much in the word of God. But it's just to help us, to encourage us, to use the word of God, to make us see what we are not able to see. Even though we read the Bible sometimes, when we read it, it sometimes the, the meaning of the Bible, of the word, can may not we not come may not come to us straight away. It's too more on yet only matter to ye wa dada should not have a collect in it a collect it a collect at a collect any or on a better cinema few ye ye wa new battle suffering Joshua only be strong and be courageous Joshua my work way how can I how will I be strong how am I going to be courageous how am I going how am I going to lead these people these people are too much for me to lead I am a I'm, I'm a small boy what why do I how do you expect me to lead them for God is giving us the word of assurance let us be strong. Let us have faith in ourselves. Let us believe in ourselves. Let us not be discouraged. Don't allow the challenges of this world to discourage you. Let us change our mindset. Let, the way you see yourself today, try looking at, start looking at yourself as someone different. Start looking at yourself as no bad Japanese. Look at yourself as a king. Toba woni si pe ah oh mi o mi o mi o ro pe mole mole job alaye start seeing yourself ah today from today on I am now a king from today on I am now a queen omo ba ni mi even if you don't come from a royal family look at yourself as somebody that came from a royal family because if we are in Christ those of us, those of us that we are in Christ we are the royal prophethood we are the royal priesthood we are in Christ we are the royal family if you are in Christ you are from the royal family spiritual royal family not physical royal family so if you are seeing yourself as a slave stop looking at yourself as a slave no one is born as a slave god has not created us to be a slave he has created us to be somebody in this heart he has called us to be to fulfill a purpose on earth don't allow anyone to discourage you from fulfilling your purpose don't allow anyone to discourage you from becoming what you want to become in this heart on heart take that bold step take the courage I don't know what it is that you want it, you want to achieve. I don't know what plan you have for your future. I don't know what it is that you have, what plan that God has got for you. Speak to God, ask God, what do you have for me? What do you want me to do on that? Why have you called me? Why did, why did you send me on that? Is there a purpose for me on that? If you are not sure, there's, if you are not sure that there's a purpose for you on that, speak to God, ask God. God will give you a revelation. God will reveal who you have to you. Before you go to bed tonight, I will encourage anyone that is, whoever is listening to me tonight, go and pray to God and ask God, God, tonight, I want you to reveal to me, who am I in you? What is my purpose on earth? What have you sent me on earth? What do you want me to do on earth? What do you want me to achieve on earth? We are not on this heart alone to achieve, to make money. A lot of us, we intend to run after prosperity. 
prosperity is not we, we we god has given us everything that we need before we came on earth because if you read the genesis it says only so he, he created everything and he gave us power he said subdue them have dominion have power so everything is there for us it's just for us to know how to how to, how to activate the 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 the, 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 the things that god has given us to us how to enjoy them if you don't know how to activate it if you don't know how to how to make this work well for us it, can, it will see it as if these things is not there those people that have money those that have wealth it's not that they just sat down in their comfort zone they work they work hard they try hard they make an effort they go beyond their capability to achieve what they want to achieve i'm not talking about those that go to other means to achieve their wealth i'm not talking about those that goes to other other ways look for other ways of achieving their wealth of getting rich on hearts of making things on us no i'm talking about those that work with god those that are working with god in truth and in spirit and in the right way those are the people i'm talking about those are the people that we need to look we need to, we need to kind of follow don't follow other people. We have quite a lot of people on earth now. Yes, they have money. They have everything. But we don't know this, the means of their sources. But we have some people where they have, they have money, they have what? But those are the people that it, they can be difficult to find. They, when they have their money, they don't live flashy life. They don't live life, a life of ah, everybody must see me. I have arrived that they make noise. They live simple and quiet life. But they have money. They are they are well blessed. Those are the kind of people we should be looking at. And also people that we mix with as well can determine our success in life. Who are you mixing with? Who are you talking to? Who am whom are you discussing your life with? Whom are you telling your story to? Some of the people you tell your story to can be a, can discourage you. Some of the people you, you speak to can discourage you. Some of the people that you think, oh, in my is she's my friend or is my friend. They can even be your, 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 they can be a denier to your source. They can be somebody that don't want to achieve. And people that you think, oh, this person, I don't think oh, I can relate with this person, could be the person that God wants you to relate with. But it takes the spirit of God for us to know whom to relate with and whom not to relate with. And I pray that God Almighty, Almighty God, we, we, are, we help us. Almighty God, we enlighten us. We give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. To know whom to mix with and whom to not to be mixed mix with. I am encouraging us tonight. This is a word of encouragement. Let us be strong and be courageous. Let's not be dismayed. Let's not let don't allow fears to take away our joy and our happiness and our success. For us to be a, to be strong in this life, to be strong in this life, to gain wealth, to gain prosperity, we have to be very strong. Prosperity to do the will of God, not to do the will of man but to do the will of God. For us to be successful on earth, to do the will of God, we must be strong and be courageous. My word of encouragement, encouragement for us tonight, first episode of Reset Your Mind is coming to you right now. Be strong and be courageous. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Know that you can make it. Know that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. But remember, remember one thing, always remain in God, in God. Allow God to direct you. Allow the Holy Spirit to direct you. Don't let the word of God depart from you. Have good relationship with God. Have close relationship with God. God will show you the way. God will guide you and direct you. I advise us, whoever is listening to me right now, wherever you might be listening to me right now, I pray that that spirit for you to have the courage and to be courageous in all your endeavors, God will give it unto you. Mukbaniadura. Mukbani can it 
ni wa kati ati owo yi mo gba ni adura fun gbogbo eni to wa to nbe la bi ohun mi ni asale gbogbo ko ti e le ma la koja to le je bi isoro ninu aye mi ninu aye yin to le je bi wa lai damu to da yin to soju kan ti o je ke le dide mo gba ni adura le kan sise olorun olorun a gbe yin dide pe ninu owo agbara re mo gba ni adura the spirit for you to be strong and courageous God will bestow it upon each and every one of you tonight. Those who are listening to me right now, who go on to follow the Facebook to one bong me near chalet, who buy near dura, ni waka ti ato wa ile kon si se. I ni tabari go 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 go. So the jebi get there be obstacles in your life. Father Lord, we take it away from your life tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, be courageous and be strong. Who go on to the far? So ni jeke le wa courageous and be strong. Whatever it is that is not making you believe in yourself. Unto ni jake ni igba gbo ninu ara yin. Unto ni jake ni igba gbo pe ah mo le se kini. Bo gbo won emi be. To ma those are the dead that those are evil spirits. Those are satanic spirits. They are spirit they are enemy of progress. Satanic spirit is a won emi to ma so pe ah en we won mo ti o ti to because ni o ni oro pe mo le se mo. Ah wo wo ti su mi mo ti gbiyanju gbiyanju gbiyanju. Ah mi oro pe mo le se. Ah bo gbo won emi be yen. Olorun a mu ko ninu aye eni kokoni asale. Emi mi o le se mi o le se. Emi o ti su mi o ti su mi mo ti gbiyanju gbiyanju. Mi o tun le continue mo. Bo gbo ro won emi be. Olorun a mu ko ninu aye oni ka ni kaluku ni asale. I pray for everyone listening to me right now. Who everyone under my voice tonight. I pray tonight that Whatever it is that you want to lay your hand on, whatever is your heart desire, God will grant it unto you. All your endeavors, you shall so, you shall complete them successfully. Bukoti e ba tawole, lati wakati ati owo yi lo. Bukwa la sheni mi odala ba, o ma bere sini ma nyoni sirere. Bukwa da wole yi yo ma nyoni sirere. Iro nyi a yo, lo ma niti yi ma je. Bukwa ni a dura se, ani ta ni a ye da dro so jukon. Bukwa wanti a ye ti da dro so jukon. Ti wwa je kwa kwa ne konfo so nwa. Ti wwa je ki wwa te si waju. Bo kwa ni waka ti ato wwe. Ni a bare ni mi mo. Kwa lwa bara ti a she. Ola wwa gbe yi dide. Bo kwa ni adura. O ye dide lo ju kote wwa. O ye lo shishe. E lo shishe janu ni nwa ye ni. O ye te si waju. O ye ni si waju. O ye te si waju. Ni oru kwa la Jesu Christo lwa wwa. Ami, ami ni oru kwa Jesu Christo. I pray once again. To be strong and courageous. It's not easy. It takes faith. That faith for you to be strong and be courageous in your life. That faith for you to believe in yourself. I pray tonight God Almighty will be stored it upon you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen, amen in Jesus' name. Tonight is a, is, is a night whereby we have come, like I said before, to encourage us to become somebody. You that you think you cannot become anything. You, we are somebody in the eyes of God. Bogwa in your in your in your pataki niwa niwa jolor. Along with day ni kokon kwa si aye. Lati wa lati wa lati lati wa marare. Along tawa silia ye. Lati wa genu la ye. Mo de bala dra ni waka tia tio wa yu. Mungwa dra ta sheta sheta dra ta dra ni mungwa waka ta. No ruko jesu ni agbara eje jesu ondongo. Bogwa ni keni tia ye nfi aye wanare. Bogwa ni keni tia ye nfi oko wanare. No ruko ni a shale yi mungwa ni agbara ni. Oya bogwa wanda ton yori ton yaye yile ni. Ton yore sheda yile ni. Oya okwa da le yi ni ni a shale yi. Oya osi aye yisle ni a shale yi. Ta le ni toti soy ta le ni tia ye yo le ni. Ta le ni tia yo yi sheda re le ni. Ta le ni tia yi shun ba ja chyo fe jako debi yo gore. Bo gba ni ke ni tia yi shun de no gore. Bo gba ni ke ni tia yi otan de no gore. Bo gba ni adwa ni a shale yi. Ni waka tia chyo wa yi. Oye e loke lo shere re. Oye e loke lo shori re. Oye ota kon padale yi. E shu kon padale yi. E shu ni nak parale yi lo yi mo. Ota ni nak parale yi lo yi mo. O wè ni pye yon pe yi. O ni ni ak parale yi lo yi mo. Ni oru kwa la jesu kristo lu awa. Ami, ami ni oru kwa jesu kristi. Bo gba ni adwa mo kwa she. Su ni aye kubwa ni ton gbon mi ni a shale. Bo kwa she tura si no aye yi aye yi kubwa ni ma gbae tura. Bo kwa she tura si no aye yi kaye yi kubwa ni ma gbae tu sile. Ta le ni ti bo ni bo ke obi ki bi ti aye le di ori kokomo. Ibi ti aye le di ogo ori kokomo ni a shale. Oya mo kwa she. Mo kwa she tu sile. Oya elok elok bae tu sile. Oya elok bae tura. Oya elok bae wosan. Oya elok bae la siya. Ni oru kwa la jesu kristo lu awa. Ami, ami ni oru kwa jesu kristo. Ta bale ni ka ni ton shay son ni waka ti ato ni bi ki bi ti e ni ke ni ko le wa ni wakati ato ni ti ma sha isun bo bo se da ki sha to le ma sha isun bo se pe aye lo fi isun yin sinu ago ara re ni bo se isu lo fi si ago ara re ni bo se ohun okan we ni bi eyan lo fi isun yin si ago ara re bo pa se alafia sinu aye re oya alafia ko je ti e oya alafia ko je ti e alafia ko je ti e alafia ko je ti e oya 
Buy was on. Oh yeah, buy was on. Buy was on. Buy was on. It 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 was on. Oh yeah, Alafia. It was on. Alafia. It was on. Alafia. It was on. Oh yeah, oh Jesse. Eh, you are looking like Jesse Christo Luawa. I mean, I mean, you are looking like Jesse Christo. No bad boy, let's see. Tabari and it's a yes, you are more your lenu. Tabari and it's a yes, you are more your lenu. You go by the tomb bell, I be on many a chalet. Go by what I yes, I yes, you are more your lenu. No palace any more than ever. Oh, Danny, what can't you do? Go by what on book with you, what your more? Oh, your long cobb out the woman. Oh, yeah, but along cobb back by a new woman. Oh, yeah, what's your more? Oh, yeah, Doriani. 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 You look at Jesu Christo Luawa. I mean, I mean, you look at Jesu. No bad one, what can't you do? I need to have any time for your money. I'll be any to your money, born or seven. Tom Benny, I'll be a mini waka tattoo. Yeah, you might like to be. Tom Benny, I'll be a mini waka tattoo. Go push a lecture that told you your money. Go push a lecture that told you your money. Oh, yeah, no, you waka tattoo. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be. Oh, yeah, come at you. Oh, yeah, come at you. Oh, yeah, my cock by was on. Oh, yeah, my cock by Bella. Oh, yeah, my cock by to say, you're for Jesu Christo Luawa. I mean, I mean, you're for Jesu Christo. Go by Granny Waka tattoo. Ben told what I do, Minnie Waka Tatoy. Look, I sure, Sino Yen. Go go me a dabble. Go 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 me a dabble. So die, do so you go. So then the court judge can do so that's all you can do. Go go me a dabble ye. You walk at that. Oh, you're alone, come up for anyone doing. Oh, you're alone, pop power. Oh, you're alone, pop power. Oh, you're alone, pop power. Oh, you're alone, come at Bedan. Oh, you're alone, yet Bedan. Go go me a dabble. No, you're alone, no, you're alone. I mean, 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 I mean,
for those who have been going through difficulties since the beginning of this year. They are going through challenges, difficulties since the beginning of this year. That they just they still don't know how to go about it. I will advise you if you don't know God, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, it's time for you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. If you want your life to be meaningful, if you want to be successful, if you want to, if you want to, if you want your life to change your life, a lot of us we are on heart, but we don't know God. Know God from today. Give your life to Christ. Christ is calling. Oni e yin oni e wa e wa emi yo si fun yin ni si mi e yin ti a deru wi wo le lori ta ni a deru wi wo lo lori to wa gbe eru wi wo yi ta kiri ti o mo bi to ma so si Jesus n pe e to to ma bo oni ohun de that is so eru re kale o ya eru wi wo gbogbo eru ta gbe eru wi wo lo lori oluwa ni oru ogonjo o ya gbogbo won eru yi o ni oluwa ma re dan oluwa gbe eru na o ya so kale ko lori won o ba wa so kale ko lori won o gbe eru ajaga gbogbo eru ajaga ti an gbe sori ta an ru ka kiri ta an ru ka kiri ti a mo bi ta ma so si ni asale o ya olorun o ya ma so won eru yi kale lori gbogbo ni to gbo mi ni wakati aso gbogbo eru ajaga gbogbo ajaga ye ti aye le si ori kokon si ni wakati aso oluwa tun won sile oluwa tun won sile jesus christ omo olorun o ya lo ma tun won sile o ya tun won sile o ni wo o ni e wa gbogbo eyin ta deru wi we lori o ni ha si fun yin ni simi Ah, bo gba ni to deru to deru we lo lori bo gba ni wa se ni wakati ato we gege bi oro jesus christ o do won afun yin nisin oya e lo gba sin mi oya e 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 gba sin mi ni oruko jesus christ oluwa wa ami 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 ni oruko jesus i like to advise everyone under my voice tonight if you have not accepted jesus christ as your lord and your savior it's never too late it's never too late It's time for you to accept Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Take yourself out of the world and come to Christ. Eni to ba nbenu aye ko le ri Jesus, ko le ri ogun Olorun ko le ri Jesus. Iwo to ba fe jaye to de fe mo Olorun ko possible. You cannot serve God with mammon. Be strong and courageous now and come to God. Come to Jesus Christ your Savior. Your Lord and your Savior is ready to receive you. Be strong and be courageous. If you don't have any church you are going to, look for church to go to wherever you are living. Look for an evangelism committee where you can hear, they can teach you about Jesus Christ, where they can point you to the right direction. It's never too late. It's never too late to have said Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Jesus is calling. is ready to receive you come to him and he will give you rest come to him and he will give you peace come to him he is the only one that can give you life and everlasting he is the only one that can give you joy the joy that will not perish the joy of this world will perish but jesus christ joy will never perish i pray to you tonight that as you have heard my voice tonight the spirit and the courage the spirit to be strong and be courageous to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior God will descend it upon you tonight in Jesus mighty name my brothers and sisters in the in the Lord i advise you and those who are not in Christ yet those who are in Christ and those who are not in Christ i advise you tonight accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior be strong and be courageous do not be dismayed do not be afraid do not let any challenges of this world frighten you from accepting Jesus Christ as your lord and your savior it's never too late and i pray that god will give you that courage whatever you want to achieve on heart it is through jesus you can achieve it it is through god you can achieve it no one else can give it to you no one else can encourage you no one else can encourage you. people will discourage you but jesus Christ will never discourage you have your faith in him and he will see you too in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen in jesus name I thank you all very much for listening to me tonight. The little that I have said tonight, I pray that it will it will germinate in our heart. Today is our first episode of Reset Your Mind. Next week is another week with another topic. God will help us and he will see us through till next week. Goodbye. Have a lovely day. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen in Jesus name. Thank you all for joining me. God bless you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night everyone. See you next week. Bye.